Nevada Ready presents Jammin' with Jamboard, building one relationship at a time. Jamboard is a new interactive whiteboard tool online that can help you actively engage your students, develop relationships, create, collaborate, and more. There is a physical board that can be purchased separately, but you do not have to purchase the physical board in order to use Jamboard. So how do I create one? Here today we're going to introduce you to the tools, the board, and what they do. To access the Google Jamboard app, go to the waffle and select Jamboard from the menu. Once you open Google Jamboard, click on the orange plus button at the bottom right corner to create a new Jamboard. To create a Google Jamboard, you can also Go to Google Drive, and once in Google Drive, click the New button on the left-hand side. Once you click the New button, go down to More, and then click Google Jamboard. Let's take you on a tour of what you will find once in a Jamboard. Make sure to give the Jamboard a title in the top left-hand corner of the screen. To change the background, click on the Background button and select Style and Color. To clear the frame in one click, click on the Clear Frame button. At the top, in the middle of the screen, you'll find a rectangular button that will allow you to duplicate, delete, or add new frames. The toolbar is located on the left-hand side. The first option is the pen tool. When you click on the pen tool, you'll be able to select a pen, a marker, a highlighter, or brush along with the color. The second tool down is the eraser tool, which will help you to remove any unwanted items from the screen. The third tool is the selection tool which brings you back to the use of the mouse to select items on the page and move them around. The fourth tool is a sticky note. When you click on a sticky note, you can type in information to be shared on the Jamboard, and you can select the color of your sticky note and post it by clicking Save. The next tool allows you to add an image. When you click on the image icon, a window will pop up where you can upload a photo from your device, do a Google image search, select a photo from your Google Drive, or from your Google Photos. The last tool is the laser tool, which you can use to emphasize or point out areas on the Jamboard. There are a few ways that you can share a Google Jamboard. You can choose to link it, share it through Google Classroom or your LMS, or even a hyperdoc. To share a Google Jamboard directly to someone else or get a shareable link, click on the Share button in the top right-hand corner. Once you click on the button, a window will pop up. You can either type in an email address or a group address and share directly, or you can click on the area below that to set up a shareable link, either for those in your school or for anyone with the link. Then click Copy Link and add to an email, shared Google Doc, or post in your LMS or Google Classroom. To post directly to Google Classroom, go to your Classroom page under the Create button. Choose how you want to post it. For an assignment, at the bottom of the assignment window, click on Add, select Google Drive, and then navigate to the Jamboard file you wish to share and select it. There are many ways Google Jamboard can be used with your class. The first example shown here is a self-assessment, where students can move a sticky that they add their name to and place it in one of the four columns. Even with help, I do not get this. Help me a little and I got this. I just need some more practice. And I need a challenge or I could teach someone. A second example would be to use the Google Jamboard to deliver an exit ticket that students could respond to. In this exit ticket, all students will post a sticky note 
in each of the three sections listing things they learned today, words or phrases they learned more about, and a question they still have. This digital whiteboard example demonstrates how to give students a math problem, where the class can work together to show their work and solve. The teacher posted the question, but the teacher or student or students could work through the problem. Some additional ideas to use Jamboard for would be make a digital poster, a digital whiteboard used during a video conference or synchronous learning session, used for class collaboration, classmate introductions, group work, or games and word searches. For additional ideas, we've included a link on this page to a slide deck shared by a Google certified trainer.